Good morning and welcome to day 68 of the Coronavirus Mindfulness Challenge. Um, I thought today we'd get out in the garden and uh, enjoy a bit of the sun. It's, it's important, I think, when we think about the um, basis of mindfulness, the ability to be able to be in the moment and just to breathe and just appreciate that. And it is a bit of a skill set. And I, I've been speaking, a lot, obviously, a lot to a lot of people recently um, about mindfulness because, obviously, these videos have, have brought, um, you know, the attention to the subject. Mindfulness is just something that we need to cultivate on a regular basis. So, you know, when I sit here and go, I love the ability just to be able to... You know, I've been doing this now for 12 years. Uh, I was... I qualified with my MBSR course in 2008. So, you know, it's a practice that I've been cultivating for a long period of time. But it's just got that ability to be able to truly help you through through these moments of uncertainty and emotion and fear and anxiety and depression. You know, depression is 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 a very serious thing and you know, I've I've spoke at length before and you know some of you some of you will know either through my channel or through reading my book or or other videos on on my groups is that 2020 has been a difficult year for me in many ways and the lot reason why 2020 has been a difficult year is is I've had a lot of very close friends unfortunately pass away absolutely out of the blue my friend committed suicide on January the 1st another friend passed away 2 months ago from an accident from a fall and you know these guys were 35 um 40 this just come up march the 2nd his birthday was 40 and you know it's it's difficult to deal with grief and difficult to deal with situations and there's no magic wand there's no like oh yeah if you do mindfulness close your eyes breathe in three times everything's fine it's not it's it's a cultivation but what we're trying to do is get people and to try and work through that not everything is right and not everything is wrong. And that we know that if we just play the long game, that actually, and we keep trying to improve through meditation and allow us to cultivate our, you know, as I said before, working on neuroplasticity, reprogramming our brains through, you know, focusing and connecting with with ourselves and, and, and with our breath and being in the moment and understanding that our mind is doing its job bringing these thoughts and it can really help us. So if you think about grief, how has it helped me with grief? Well, it, it just allows me just to sit and just be with that pain, just be with grief and understand that it is a human emotion. It's something that is innately in us when somebody passes away. But it's not a bad thing. It's not a good thing. It's a thing. And grief, for me, there's no right way or wrong way. There's only your way. And and I'm dealing with it by just being in the moment and just saying, you know, I miss my friends and and it's tough and I get emotional now about it. But just got to be. And, and I can't bring them back I can't do anything so I just sit in those moments of just just being with grief and just allowing them not attach anything to it not allowing it to overrule me just knowing it's an emotion that I can sit with be with without it fundamentally controlling me or changing my day and depression's the same, you know. When you wake up in the morning, and we all do it, oh, oh can I be bothered getting out of bed today? Especially at the moment, it's, t it's difficult times, you know, it's tough. You know, somebody said to me, oh, oh we're all in the same boat. I, I, and I've probably said this before, I, I don't believe we're all in the same boat. I believe we're all in the same storm. We're all in different boats. Some of you might have, you know, financial issues or health issues or relationship issues or mental issues or problems. You know, just because where we are at the moment is is very not normal. And, you know, we're heading towards, fast, fastly heading towards June. You know, when we started this in March, you know, that's a, that's a long period of time. You know, we're really fortunate. I am so blessed. 
you know, to be in the situation that I'm in. I've, you know, I've got a lovely home, I've got a nice garden, and Reggie the dog's gonna come and join us now, I think. Come on, Reg. Um, and it's that, you know, and it, we're going into our summer period, which allows us to get outside, which allows us to cultivate vitamin D. Vitamin D is very good for your immune system. It helps you, you know, to raise your immune system. It helps you to, to build your, um, you know, to build your immune system to fight some of these issues. And, you know, we're sat here today, you know, talking about mindfulness and how it works. And it's a bit of a, 67 for me, is a bit of a checkpoint to just to check in and say, you know, what is this all about? And, and just to have a chat because I'm offloading, I'm, I'm healing, speaking to you now. You know, a very small proportion of people have passed away who have had the coronavirus. Some people have had it and don't even know. You know, they're, they're now adding the symptoms here that you lose your sense and you lose your, you lose your sense of smell and taste. I lost that. It was the weirdest thing ever. I was sniffing my aftershave and I have some um, white sage uh, essential oil sniffing. I couldn't smell anything. It pretty much tells me that I was fortunate to have a mild version of it or was my immune system in a position to be able to cope with it. So, you know, all of these things happen and their life and their experiences and you can take these things forward. But as I said, depression, sometimes you just don't want to get out of bed. How do you, how do you, how do you beat that? How do you work with that? Well, you know it's, I'm not feeling great today. But it's a feeling, it's emotion we can, okay, that's fine, put that over there. I, but I've got to do this, this and this because I want to progress my life. I want to move my life forward. And yeah. you know, taking these baby steps you know reggie is over there now being the guard dog trying to fend off from a bird i think um who he thinks obviously is dangerous oi come here reg come on come on reg and uh, you know i like to do things live i like to do things real and and this is it meditations today should we do it or not you know i think i think for us today is the ability to um just sit and just be and just be grateful for for everything that we've got you know, I've said on numerous occasions, come here, Reg, on numerous occasions that, you know, don't pray for the man who has no shoes, pray for the man who has no feet. No matter where we are or how bad we've got things, somewhere, somewhere today, unfortunately, there's somebody worse off than ourselves. So we have so much to be grateful for. We have so much to be thankful for. So maybe today, you don't need me to tell you how to do this is you just sit, close your eyes, and just bring your attention to your heart. And as you bring your attention to your heart, just allow it to open. Just allow it to fill with beautiful chambers of spiritual love. For you to be love, to love yourself, to give love, to love others. But importantly, to be able to receive love. We're all very humble and, you know, that's what we are and that's what I believe, you know, makes things real. But today, allow yourself to be loved. Allow yourself to be loved by others, by the universe, by spirit, by whatever your belief system is. Today is a day of love. In fact, I've just produced this morning um, a heart activation chakra music which is going to be on YouTube, or it's probably on YouTube when you're watching this. Just sit and be in that space from moment to moment, from breath to breath. Just breathe in from your heart and open your heart. Allow your heart to open to the love that's around you. And realise that we have to love ourselves, but we have to have the ability to love others and help others as well. So if you're feeling really depressed and laying in bed at the moment thinking, who am I going to get up for today? Give yourself a bit of love. Get up, get in the shower, wash off all of that negative energy. Go downstairs, make yourself a cup of tea or a cup of coffee and write down three things that you're going to do today. If you do them, great. If you don't, great. But just three very small steps of what you're going to do today. And just sit there and do the heart meditation and just be... Allowing your heart just to open in such a beautiful and meaningful way and expand those chambers from within your heart and let go of some of the history, the shadows, the emotions, the traumas, the 
grudges, the hate. Just open it up and let it all out. There may be tears, there may not. You know, we did some stuff the last couple of days for forgiveness and for anxiety. Just let it all out. Let it all happen. Listen to the birds. Be grateful and thankful for everything we've got. Day 67 of the Mindfulness Challenge. Day 68, actually. <laughs> oh, I'm losing the plot. <laughs> I'm losing the days. You know, I was just saying earlier on, actually, that, that you have to be structured in this situation because everything can just bleed into everything. And before you know it, you don't know what day it is or what time it is or, or whatever it is. So I'm being pretty structured at the moment. It helps me, you know, to get up in the mornings, do the video, smile, have a shower, and uh, I'm being, trying to be my best self. Have a lovely day on day 68. Be love and give love. And don't forget, good morning, Julian, I love you. Good morning, Julian. I love you. <sighs> See you tomorrow.